I'm Ranjit Bhatnagar, and we're here at NYC Resistor. NYC Resistor is a hacker space, which is basically like a club for nerds. For 20 years or more, I've been doing sound art projects. I've always been interested in music and also just sort of sound and noise outside the music itself. I went to school for engineering. I did computer science and physics. I brought in a couple of stringed instruments I made. This thing here is made from an old wooden mortar and pestle that I found at a dollar store in Queens. It's got a handmade electric pickup and three strings that totally won't stay in tune. This is the log guitar. It's made out of basically a, a stick that I found in the park and three regular guitar strings. And it used to have an electric pickup until I broke it by mistake. So now it's got a contact microphone pickup to replace that. It's way better than you would expect for being made out of, out of trash and $2 worth of electronics. There's these students from NYU who a few years ago set up this website they call Thing A Day. The idea is just go and do some interesting creative project every single day during the month of February. And I just told myself, I'm gonna do this. I can make a musical instrument every single day of the month. So I did that. I made a bunch of whistles and really primitive guitar-like things and percussion and some things that are more abstract noisemakers, some little primitive electronic synthesizers. And that was really kind of fun, so I did it again in 2009 and again this year. So now I have this ritual every February. I have my month of instruments. This here is my robot toy piano. It was actually a toy player piano, which was kind of incredible. But I was heartbroken because it came smashed to bits. So I decided what I had to do was salvage as much as I could of it. I replaced the plastic keys and the role-play mechanism with a bunch of really simple little electromagnetic solenoids. It's basically a little coil of wire and a, and a, steel, a steel armature. Whenever the computer sends electricity through the coil, the electricity causes the steel to jump up. And when it jumps, it hits the hammer, the hammer hits the tine, and you get a note. Today, I'm going to try to make a robotic accordion. So this is the accordion that I got off of Craigslist. It even has a great antique smell to it. The two parts to what I have to do to the accordion, the first part is figure out how to make the keys move, and the second part is to figure out how to make the bellows move. So what I'm hoping to do is I'm going to hang the accordion from the ceiling, and the bottom half will be hanging from static ropes, and the top half will be hanging from an electric winch that will lift it up and down as it plays. So I'm looking through these little slots here. I can see the keys, but they're behind this complicated aluminum grid. What I need to be able to do is somehow attach the motors to the backs of these keys so I can pull on them. I'm definitely interested in making sound both as sort of an offshoot of music and just in itself. I don't have much of a music background. I took guitar lessons and piano lessons when I was a kid. I mean, just like a year of each, never became terribly good at either one. I wasn't sure that I would develop any kind of musical talent in messing around with these things, but I'm glad that I'm actually getting a little bit of progress there. The next step is to figure out how to attach the motors to the back of the accordion and have them pull the, pull the keys. So it's going to be something like this. This is the part where I'm going to start using the computer to help me think. I can try to put a diagram of the back of the accordion into Illustrator and then try to figure out how I'm going to build these brackets to hold the motors up. I just made my first test print of the motor brackets and the motors seem to fit in pretty good. So I think I'm good to go to do this in plastic which is a lot slower to cut. 
it's interesting to me to make things that are, in a sense, musical instruments, but they aren't meant to be, they aren't meant to be precious objects or to last through the ages. They're just something I put together in a few hours or a few days, and maybe I make them out of old dead wood I find on the forest floor or out of something I find in my neighbor's garbage. The visuals are a big part of it. I like things that look interesting in some way. If something catches my eye, that's just as good as catching my ear. I guess I'm about ready to move on to the suspension stage. So in just a couple of days, I managed to motorize about an octave worth of the keys on this accordion here. And then I was able to put up the motor and the hoist and make the thing go up and down and play. It's not quite there, but it's almost a fully fledged robotic instrument. What I'd like to do is make like a two or three minute completely pre-recorded performance that it can play.